This is my first video out of three, uh, which will be on Frege's conceptual no notation or the Begriffsschrift. Um, and I guess what this whole work is, it's um, it's it's called conceptual no conceptual notation because of the of the notation in it, and it's I'll show you like a little page of what the no what the notation is now. This first video is is going to be just about the purpose and the purpose and the and the relevance of of this of this whole book. Um, the second video will be about the general the general notation and how the whole thing works. And I'll on on the board over there. I will basically do um, a lot of um, uh, things from this, which is as you can see that's kind of complex. So I'll do some stuff on the board over there and. Hopefully, like a half a, a half hour kind of video, like just going over things on and how the whole thing works and how how it all comes comes together. Um, and the third, and the third, th and the third video will be about the third part of the book, which is um, about basically applying this to mathematics via the se the sequences like this stuff here, and I'll kind of explain that in the third video, and then that will be good for me on this on this book. So, why is the Begriff Shrift re relevant, first off? Or why is, or what is the purpose of it, of it, first off? Now, he has a little writing in here, a little part of the thing, which is the aim of the conceptual notation, and he does kind of give a he gives you a basic idea of the what the what the notation is now like he has stuff like this here and um the whole aim of it is to make gapless proofs um gaps get, get it's to make gapless proofs down to the very smallest de smallest detail and it's like Pretty much, it's it's can be applied. He wa he wanted a logic which uh, or a logical system, which is complete and would could possibly be applied to any discipline, to where you could symbolize anything, and prove things with it and make basically logical logical der derivations with with it, and you know not all sy systems before him. You know, actually, most most of the systems before him were not that detailed, and they did have gaps. So you couldn't make a full, complete, very detailed proof. You there would be gaps in it, or there would be um, you couldn't with given a certain s system before Frege, you couldn't um, I guess use use the use a certain system to prove it down to the very smallest, tiniest de detail. And uh, he wanted to be, be able to have a logic which could symbolize any kind of proposition um, with any with any discipline, and um, prove things with that and make proofs with it. Now, what what is a proof? Um, if you take a, a a class in sim in symbolic logic, you will do things which is called a well, you will do things which is called a derivation or proof. Now, that's like Basically, you have a couple certain uh, assumptions, which which is either in the SL or the or the quantificational logic, and you will use those two um, assumptions to prove or to derive something else via the rules that the rules that you have for that for that system. So, um, and he wanted to to test the validity of many claims of of many um, claims of reasonings. Um, he wanted to explore the relation of this to regular language. Um, he wanted to explore, he was very, very, very interested in, in uh, language. Now I've been studying Frege a lot recently. Uh, I'm taking a class called Analytic, Analytic Philosophy where we're study we studied Frege's Three, th three articles by Frege, which is called, which, which is the the thought, s sense and reference, and also concept and 
an object. We studied the article by Russell, knowledge by acquaintance, uh, and we started the we studied the war, the uh, article by Moore, which is called the defense of common sense. And now we're getting into Frege's um, Grunlagen, and we're almost done with that. And then we're going to get into Wittgenstein's Tractatus, and then and then uh, Wittgenstein's Philosophische Untersuchungen. Um, and um, and the whole thing here is in this book. This is a very difficult book. It's not that easy to read. As you can see it's just you know not the easiest thing to really get your head around. Um, so hopefully within the next two videos that I will that I will do on this, hopefully hopefully some help can be can be given, and hopefully I will do some good as to the understanding of this of this book. And I know first off that Chad African does have some videos on uh, on this on this book, um, and he's also a very good resource to to go to on Frega as well. Um, so he he wanted to pay logical attention to detail and detail. If you could prove things out to the very very tiniest tiniest detail, then you really had fully gapless proofs and proofs that really did prove validity claims of certain arguments and, and such. So the conceptual no, notation or the Wagrifschrift um, is a complete system of logic and it's the process of logic studying argument itself and its its purpose was to, to do that, to, to make detailed gapless proofs. Now, what is the relevance of this to today's logic? Now, um, if you've taken a logic class, you will know about what of what quantificational logic is. That the logic that has quantifiers, the upside the upside down a a, which is like this. Like that. This, what this is saying is that for all x, x is h, or um, for all x, x is always h. Um, so, and this is like a, a one place um, thing. There can be, th 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 there can be polyadic things as well. Um, now this h is a predicate, and the x is a variable or a constant. And um, basically, this h is or this h is basically predicating upon the x or um or the h is predicating over x um let's say h is um mortal h means means mortal um for all for all um for all men let's say let, let's say x is men for all men men are always mortal so frega what he did here um, was he kind of introduced the whole thing of quantifiers. Now, he isn't the only one who did this. Now, it also includes Russell and Whitehead and Boole. Um, Boolean, um, Boolean, Boolean notation in his Boolean algebra, and along with Russell and, and Whitehead, all came to this modern streamlined version of quantificational logic. Now, Frege is the way he does it in here is very different from the way this is, which I will show you in a, in a minute. But the modern streamlined version came from Frege, at least. Uh, it also it also came from other people, but definitely it did come from Frege. Now Frege is thought of as the one who revolutionized logic from the Arist from the Arist Aristotelian ca um, categorical sil syllogistic logic and he brought in the possibility of having all or some or one uh, when you are talking about things. And also, him and Russell also um, brought in the possibility of having one place predicates, two in um, monad uh, monadic predicates, um, or one place, two place, three place. Like um, a two place thing is like that, and three place. Because this is a two place one. 
it's this is basically saying that r that x is related to y in terms of r, um, x, y, and z are related in terms of r, and it could go four, four place, five place, and so on. Um, so there are two quantifiers. The first one, like I said, is this one. This this is called the universal quantifier, and this this next one is called the ex the existential existential quantifier, and you can also um, do this. You can also put in your terms like the or your uh, connectives with like uh, the horseshoe, the tilde, the ampersand, and the wedge, and the tri triple bar, and such. You know, and all the all the connectives that that you had before for get, but just they have these new quantifiers. Now this th this this quantifier, which is the backwards e, is the ex is the existential quantifier. And what this says is that, um, let's say X, again, is man, is men, and H is mortal. This is saying that, that there is on X that, or there, or, or there, there is a man which is mortal, or some men are mortal. Um, it's either translated into, into English as there, there, there is a X, or some X. And sometimes you can do it like this. Um, with this um, ex with this um, ex exclamation point, which is by saying that there is one x that is h, but that's kind of irrelevant. So the relevance of Frege's Begriff Schrift is just is the revolutionized or is the revolution uh, or this this whole change of logic by being able to, to talk about things that you couldn't talk about in a, in a system like SL or some kind of Arist Aristotelian system, you know, something something like like that. You couldn't talk about the same things. You, you can't talk about all or some in SL. Now, SL is sen is sentential logic, which I I have I'm going to start I'm going to I'm going to start a series soon. Which goes into that into that system, and then and then after after I finish that after I finish that system, I'll go into PL or predicate logic or or quantificational logic. Now, this is relevant because Frege, along with Russell, allowed for us to put quantifiers in front of our um, sentences or our um, or our, over our uh, letters or our predicates in our in our variables. Um, to say that that all men are mortal, or some or some men are or some men are mortal, and also the the variations of the tilde before or after the quantifiers. Now, hopefully, that makes sense as to how that 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 leads to the streamlined modern quantificational logic that we have t today. Now, I'm going to show you the way that that Frege does it and how that led to today. Um, let's 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 go with, the, with this one first, and I'm, I'm gonna do this on the board when I when I do the, when I do the next video. I'm gonna go very deep into his um, notation and talk about how to you know set this, the, these things up and such. This is a, this is a base a, a basic one. This is the assertion stroke or the or the judgment stroke, which is saying it is the case that. Given all a now this this concave thing this little concave thing with the this is supposed to be gothic it's 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 in a it's in a uh, gothic font but I can't really do that on paper so much this means generality or or universality it means for all a it means you now we go from bottom to up in the in in his notation. Um, this can mean different things, but for what it 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 generally means is that if f of b, then f of a for all. It means if it really means um if f of b, then um f of a. Given this this uh, universality, this one over here for all b and for all a. If f of a, then f of a b. So um. What is also introduced is the idea of a function. You can you can also include functions in your um, note in your notations. 
Frankie does that, as you can see, in places like this. He uses he uses he uses functions. So um, hopefully that kind of shows how it's relevant. But instead of using these these concave um, a's, your the, the the a's on the on the concave lines and the b's on the on the concave lines, we use um, the upside down a instead. And but the concept of of the concept of of all a's and all b's or all a's leads to this and that this is what this is what we used what we use today so hopefully that um, kind of shows how from the Arist Aristotelian syllogistic logic and you know and how with this this kind of was a book that really revolutionized logic and changed logic forever um, hopefully that kind of was good f and showed the relevance and purpose of this of his conceptual n notation and hopefully is a good video which will trans which will um, transition into the next video which will be about doing his actual notation and writing down and understanding his actual actual notation when he when he writes something like this or or even this you know um, where's the regular yeah this 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 is the regular ones without the sequences and the in the next video, I'm just basically gonna gonna, gonna talk about on how to, how to understand something something like like this. Or I probably won't go as big as that one was, but um, I'll definitely kind of give basic as to how to do that. So uh, if you think I've, I've left something out or um, done something wrong or messed up something, please comment below because I'll, I'd love to hear from you and also check out. Chad African's videos on this as well. Um, this is a great book, I think. So if you have the um, ability ability to understand this book, I think it's definitely worth worth reading. Um, if your 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 library should have it, um, mine did. And this is a library book because this is very expensive expensive to buy. Um, even on even on the even in the uh, Amazon marketplace. So thank you.